And so how does it feel to be sat here looking ahead to the new season as Gloucestershire captain? Yeah, it feels great to be honest. Uh, you know, quite uh, quite honoured and uh, privileged to to be offered the job, and there's a little bit of a confidence booster for the for the lads and the coaching staff to uh, you know put uh, keeping batting in the top order and captaining all in my one plate. So it's uh, yeah, like I said, a confidence booster, and uh, looking forward to the summer. Uh, and what type of captain uh, do you think you'll be? I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. I, you know, I something I'll have to find out. I haven't done a lot of it over over my career. Uh, so you know, it's going to be very much trial and error for the first uh, for the first couple of games, and finding out what I do well and, and what I don't do well, and working on those areas respectively. So I like to say that I'm just going to be a big trust of my, my first instincts and just back my guts. But uh, I think communication is going to be a massive part of it, especially with a young squad and making sure all the boys are all the boys are happy and uh, committing to the plans that they want to bowl to and, and, and bat to, and you know, hopefully uh, it all comes off and we play some good cricket. Yeah, of course, because you're still quite young yourself. Uh, uh, it wasn't that long ago that you were one of the new lads trying to settle in. Does that help as a captain? Like that, it, that it wasn't that long ago, and you can, you, I guess you've got a little bit more responsibility now to to make the new guys feel welcome and that sort of thing. Yeah, you know, obviously I played uh, three seasons here, one of which was you know heavily interrupted by injury. So you know, I know what it's like to come into a new change room and, uh, and and try settle in as a young player and, and you know put your put your stamp on your t- uh, space in the team. Um, but we've got a young squad who, who are all pretty close and all quite uh, tight knitted. So you know, I, I don't see it being too much uh, too much of an issue. Uh, and like I said, just communicating my plans and you know matching my plans with theirs is going to be the biggest uh, thing for me. Yeah. Uh, have you sort of taken any advice uh, from anyone in terms of captain seal or, or any feedback? that people have given you what to expect yeah. obviously Richard uh, did it at a very young age at Yorkshire um, you know Marsh he's done it before and he's played a lot of cricket so he's someone who, who uh, is going to be standing in the slips with me that I'm able to bounce ideas off and chat to and uh, same same when Michael gets back you know I'll be able to chat to him about it and you know bounce ideas with him as well so like I said communicating with the lads and you know throwing out ideas and seeing what people think is uh, is going to be the way to go yeah